The human body and its immune responses can be viewed as a battle from an attacker, much like a battle of the ancient Roman Empire. The walls of the city symbolize the mucous membranes and the skin of the human body, and those walls protect against invasion from attackers or pathogens alike. But should a pathogen, or in this case an army of barbarians, break through the defenses, there would be a defensive response just like an immune response. As you can see, the foreign invaders have just gotten past the wall, just like a pathogen might get past the mucous membranes in the nasal cavity. The Roman soldiers having their initial battle here, battle here are just like skirmishers or white blood cells like the helper T. They would skirmish with the barbarians like the helper T's would attempt to bind to the antibody. Just like the antigen would be engulfed by the macrophage and presented to the helper T for the, signal, the signaling of the B cells, these Roman soldiers would fight their enemy a little, and then blow their horns so that the general is aware of their problem. However, there are a limited amount of Roman soldiers here because they aren't always anticipating an attack, so they have no idea who this invader is, and, it's their, and considering it's their first attack, they are unfamiliar with the strategies and nature of the attack. Additionally, these soldiers may not have the appropriate weapons to fight the antigen yet, if the helper T cells lack the correct protein receptor, they will not be able to fight off the antigen because they cannot bind. They will also have to let those who, who do have the proper uh, protein receptor do so. It might be more advantageous to use spears instead of swords, so the soldiers will have to be selected. As you can see, the soldiers are overwhelmed, and so they desperately could use some reinforcements. To gather more troops, soldiers must report to the general, much like the helper T cell would signal the B cell to act. The general is approaching in just like the B cells would respond, and then the general will function just like the plasma cell. He will gather more troops just like the B cells would divide to gather more channels of antibody secretion. He would gather the reinforcements with the correct weapons, which would function as the antibodies. Ultimately, the invaders will be dispersed by the soldiers and everything would return to normal like in our bodies. However, the general will remain vigilant and remember when he fought the barbarians, so he'll serve as the memory cell because he'll have the same he'll have, he'll have knowledge of the concepts and strategies that the attackers use to get into a city, just like a plasma cell will keep a knowledge of secreting those those antibodies that have the appropriate protein receptors to destroy the antigens. Rome would then go back to normal just like the human body. So in the future, should these barbarians attack again, the general will have a full knowledge of their attack strategies and methods and be able to collect the appropriate troops for the battle. As a memory cell, it would be able to acknowledge and recognize a pathogen right away. It would then be able to secrete the proper antibodies with the necessary receptors in order to stop the pathogen much easier than the first time.